We have a significant update to tell you about tonight about our ongoing investigation into alleged sexual harassment in the RCMP. At least two dozen former and current Mounties have now come forward and could be part of a class action lawsuit. What's remarkable is how the officers are connecting and how they're speaking out. Natalie Clancy broke this story for us last month and she's got the latest for us tonight. Natalie. Well, Peter, 25 women and counting are now joining forces to sue the RCMP for what they call years of mistreatment. And it all started with Catherine Galliford and a Facebook group. These are all the people that are involved on the Facebook site. Almost immediately after Krista Carlet watched Catherine Galliford so reveal taken. years of alleged sexual oh, harassment to the CBC, to... Carlet decided to tell her own story and reach out to fellow Mounties online. Another Mountie started a Facebook group open only to officers with harassment complaints against the RCMP. It's almost like a group therapy uh, with other women that experience harassment through the RCMP and that are um, taking a stand against it. It was Heli Kajanan's idea to join forces in a class action lawsuit against her former employer. And the numbers were just growing daily. People wanted in, people I've never heard of. I had emails and support and people wanting in on this. Every day I would get between three and ten emails since this has started. Their group now forms the basis of a case being built by seven lawyers in Ontario and B.C., including Alexander Zaitsev. He says he's heard from officers in every province with horror stories to tell. Constant terrible bullying, um, a hateful work environment, a tough place to actually show up and, and do your job, all the way to sexual assaults. So th th that's the gamut. Lawyer David Klein is also hearing complaints and says the suit will likely be filed in B.C. next month, seeking millions of dollars in damages. Money isn't going to bring back someone's health. Uh, money is not going to bring back someone's family. And money won't bring back a career, a broken career. Uh, money is part of it, but it's certainly not what the case is all about. In Carlay's case, like many of her colleagues, she was diagnosed with PTSD, divorced, and can no longer work. I've had days that I've been so depressed, I just haven't wanted to get on with my day to get out of bed and stuff. So, I, And that's where the Facebook site has been extremely supportive. Now, lawyers say even after they file the class action and a judge agrees to certify it, more Mounties could join the case. Natalie, how big could this lawsuit become? Well, the lawyer leading the case says it could potentially involve hundreds of plaintiffs and, and end up suing the RCMP for hundreds of millions of dollars. One lawyer says he believes at least one in four of the 4,000 female RCMP officers on the job may have been subject to discrimination and harassment. Peter. All right, Natalie, thanks very much. Natalie Clancy in Vancouver tonight.